Hi everyone, and welcome to Distance Learning at Ms. Temple's apartment. Yay! Today, you can tell I'm wearing glasses um, because my eyes hurt. <laughs> That's what's happening now. So, I have a great book. It's called, it's kind of for little kids. It's called The Artist Who Painted a Blue Horse. But I know that you'll like it. I am an artist, and I paint a blue horse and a red crocodile and a yellow cow and a pink rabbit and a green lion, an orange elephant and a purple fox. This one's my favorite. And a black polar bear and a polka dotted donkey kind of reminds me of Elmer the patchwork elephant. I'm a good artist. This is the picture that Eric Carle based this book off of and it's called Blue Horse One and it's from 1911 and it's made by an artist called Franz Marc. Um, I'll read the little blurb for you so you know a little bit. Franz Marc was born in Germany in 1880. He loved to paint animals in bright and unusual colors. At this time, some traditional critics objected to his new ideas and his unconventional paintings, stylized in form and realistic in color. Unrealistic in color. So unrealistic, that means that it's not real. Um, his unconventional, that means that it's kind of weird and a different way. Um, also, he didn't really paint from life. He was painting from what he knew. Um, that's what they're trying to say. But Mark and some other like-minded, like-minded people who think the same, artists formed an art group that was highly influential in the modern and expressionist movements. His paintings of blue horses are particularly famous. Franz Marc was killed in World War I. In the pocket of his uniform was found a sketchbook with 36 pencil drawings that, as he wrote to his wife, he was planning to make into oil paintings upon his return. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to be inspired today by Franz Marc um, and his blue horse. Um... What I want from you is you can choose what color you would like your horse to be in, but I'm gonna make mine blue. So, let me get my crayons. And my sketchbook for with my dinosaur from the other day. Flip the page over. I'm going to take my Sharpie. You guys are going to use a pencil that has an eraser, so that way if you make a mistake, but there are no mistakes in art, remember. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we are going to start on the top side of our paper. We're going to start on this side today, the side that's not as close to me. So that way you'll be able to put the head here, have the neck here, body and tush here, legs here. Yes? Okay, here we go. We're going to start with an oval, kind of like an egg shape. Oh, my marker is dying. Oh no. I might have to use a crayon. These are the things we learn with distance learning. Yay! Okay, we're going to start with an oval. See how it points up and close to the corner? Okay. Underneath our oval, remember, if I'm going too fast, you can pause this video. So I'm gonna go. Don't worry about not being with me, okay? So good job on that oval. We're gonna start with shapes and then we'll add the details in later. Okay, underneath here, we're gonna make a very interesting shape. We're going to make, it's going to look like this, kind of like we're making the number nine. And then we're going to add a shorter one right underneath. This is going to be his neck, okay? 
we're gonna connect that to a really big oval. Kind of like an egg shape. See where I am? Okay. Here, remember, I'm using a crayon so I can't erase, but you guys can. We're gonna make a circle right here. We're gonna end up erasing this one, okay? Now, here's the part that gets kind of tricky. What we're gonna do is we're gonna give him legs. So, you need one line, two lines. One line, two lines. Okay, underneath, you're gonna cut them off and then give them little squares underneath. Okay, in the back, his legs are a little different. We're gonna make a sideways V, sideways M kind of. Okay, we're gonna do one more. See how it's behind the first one? I'm gonna give him two little hooves on the back. Okay, now we're gonna put half a circle here. That's gonna be his chin. Okay, we need to give him ears. We're gonna do one ear here and one ear here. I'm gonna give him a nostril. We're gonna make an eyeball. Uh, you can make your eyes however you want. That's how I'm choosing to do my eye today. I'm gonna give him a very open V on his head because he's got a little diamond. Okay, now using my crayon, I'm gonna make the top of his hair. I'm gonna go down this way. There's his mane. Then, we're gonna give him a back mane, or a tail, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> back mane. <laughs> we're gonna give him a tail. <laughs> now, I want you to erase here, here, and here. I'll go over the lines that you should keep in blue. Uh. I think that's it. Now, you can do whatever color horse you want, remember? So, I'm gonna start, my favorite color is orange. This is kind of a salmon-y color. You're gonna take more time than Miss Temple. Maybe you can add different orange colors to it. Maybe you'll add, ooh, this is the orange that I love. Maybe we'll make some orange here and there. 
So he looks like he has some shadows. Go here. Give him some up here. Maybe under here. If you want to give him a smile, you can. Mm. Now, you can give it a background or you can just give it a floor. I'm going to make, because the complementary color of orange is blue, I'm going to make the ground blue. Just going to pick this one. I don't know. Cadet blue. It's not exactly the blue I was hoping, but we all make mistakes. It's kind of a gray color. I can give him a shadow underneath. Maybe I'll just use this blue that I used before. No, it was the same blue. And there's my horse, inspired by Franz Marc, inspired by the book, The Artist Who Painted a Blue Horse. Have fun. See you later. Oh, don't forget to send me yours. If you want, you can either send it to me on Dojo or you can send it to me at htemple at schools.nyc.gov. I can't remember it always. I don't know why. Have fun. Show me your horses. Bye.